hello and welcome guys so in last video we have done this compilation and training process so we have successfully trained our model and now we are moving forward for saving this model and recording history okay so if you're new to this video then please watch this playlist from the beginning so we have done so far we have imported data set we have imported our libraries training set pre-processing validation set pre-processing we have done building model building convolution layers output layers and compilation up to here we have done and now we are going for saving this model okay so let's create one text entry saving model for saving this cnn model just write here cnn dot save and this function will take a path I am giving a new trained model. I am creating one trained model file dot h5. Okay, this cnn dot save will save the model in h5 format. This is a file extension in which the model will be saved. So I am saving this model name as trained model dot h5. Let's run this. So when you run this, you will get here this trained model dot h5 this is our model which is trained okay if we need this model then we directly load this model this h5 file this trained model dot h5 file will load and use in future prediction this is our trained model so we have successfully saved our model now we also have to save this training history first of all let's record this history then we will explore more what is this training history okay for recording history let's define let's comment out here recording history i am interested in recording the history in json file import json and we have to save this model so use with open just like in file with open right here the path i want this training hist dot json i want to save this complete thing in training history dot json and i'm interested in writing the file so that's why i'm using here write as f use f okay and in this we have to use this json dot dump json dot dump and in this what i am interested in recording training history but before that let's explore what this training history will return training history if i compute this then it will it's showing that this keras dot callbacks so we have to use one more thing we have to write here training history dot history then it will return the dictionary file so it's a dictionary having loss as key and value as these 30 values of loss on 30 epochs and this is accuracy accuracy contains also 30 values similarly we have loss key and its values is this one we have validation accuracy so we have to use this training history dot history it will return what it will do it will return dictionary of history so we need this training history dot history okay so let's write here training history dot history training history dot history and from where i want to dump this json from f so just write here this thing so when you run this then you will get your training history dot json file here if you open this then you will get complete thing in dictionary format now let's explore what is this training history dot history so let's write here training history dot history dot keys if i write it's showing here loss accuracy validation loss and validation accuracy so this dictionary contain loss accuracy validation loss and validation accuracy as keys now we have to calculate the final accuracy of model achieved in validation set so let's create here one more entry 
let's write here calculating accuracy of model achieved on validation set I am interested in calculating the final accuracy what I am getting after 30 epochs in validation set so first of all if I write this one training training history dot history if I write if I write this thing then I will get the dictionary okay but I am interested in validation accuracy so I will write here well accuracy this thing I will write so if, if I run this then I will get this thing this complete thing in first epoch I am getting this accuracy second epoch this third epoch this and in last 30 epoch I am getting this accuracy so I am interested in getting final accuracy how much accuracy my model is achieving at 30 epoch so I will write here minus one so it will give me the final accuracy it's giving me this final accuracy which is 91 percent so this is 0.91 this is our final accuracy so we have to print this thing so print here just use uh, validation set accuracy just give here this thing and write here dot format use here dot format and this one so I am using your validation set accuracy when I run this then I am getting this thing and I have to multiply it by 100 and I will get this 91 point this one okay so I am getting accuracy of 91.16 percent so what we have done so far we have saved our model in train model dot h5 file and we explore that training history dot history will return the dictionary of history on 30 epochs and these are the key values of that dictionary okay loss accuracy validation loss validation accuracy and this piece of code is used to record the history in json format in json so we have imported json and with open this is a function used to open the file and I'm using here training history dot JSON. I want to store all the things in this training history dot JSON. And I'm using write operation because I want to write each and everything in this training history dot JSON as F. And I'm using this function JSON dot dump from where training history dot history, this dictionary. And this is a key values and how we have uh, calculated this accuracy of model. So we just refer to this and we are interested in validation accuracy so at last at 30 epochs i am getting this accuracy we have just go to that uh, training history dot history dictionary and in dictionary we are interested in values of this key validation accuracy and in this value i am interested in last value that is value at 30 epochs so i am getting this result okay now in next video we will do visualization visualization of training and validation set how training and validation set accuracy is varying with respect to number of epochs. So in next video, we will see that thing. So that's all for this video. We will meet in next video. Thank you guys. Thanks a lot for watching this video.